Hi dear students, welcome to computer science class. We have already started modules in Python and have completed math module. Today we are continuing with the same topic with a random module. You know what a module is? A module is a file that contains related functions, right? Or functions having related operations. In math module we have uh, had functions like SQRT, trigonometric function, sine cosine, FABS. There are a number of functions. The same way, here we have another module, random. You know the term meaning of random. Random uh, is a module that contains, that consists of functions. Generates random numbers. Okay. So, a random module consists of functions uh, that are used to generate random numbers. And the programming concepts we have used so far, we have learned so far, involve situations where we are aware of what should be the output right what should be the output at the time of executing the program and that approach is called deterministic approach and we have another kind of approach called non-deterministic approach non-deterministic approach means in some situations or in some applications uh, we don't know what to be the result okay for example gaming uh, and some other kind of simulations there may be situations where we need random numbers at the time we are making use of random modules and random module and random functions then uh, we have uh, examples for non-deterministic approach uh, lottery scratch card uh, recapture games and shuffling in playing cards these are some of the examples of uh, generating random numbers and we know this all these kind of examples all these examples uh, need uh, random numbers extensively in the program concerned right so uh, here in python we don't have any implicit mechanism we don't have any implicit mechanism to invoke or or to enable random functions we have to invoke or implement or import a random module to our program just to run all the random functions available in random module and here we have our first function a rand range rand range it is a function that generates an integer value between lower argument and upper argument or we can see, say simply what lower limit and upper limit and by default the value of lower limit is 0 and upper limit is 1 and we have uh, two examples here uh, okay just before uh, doing our program we have to import the module random okay import random should be the first statement to be added before using random module functions or random functions available in random module and we are applying a uh, rand range function here uh, rand number equal to random dot so we have uh, a rand range okay rand range 30 then uh, print uh, rand number and it prints what 1 okay let's explain this uh, we have a variable rand number and we are applying uh, the function rand range we know rand range is a function available in random module so you know how to call how to call a function available in a module uh, first you have to add the module name that's what random is and the function uh, used in our program is to be used is rand range okay and uh, separate using dot so random dot rand range 30 the argument passed is 30 okay then print random number rand number and here it prints 1 okay uh, for the first execution it prints suppose it prints 1 and for the next time can you can you guess it what should be printed definitely not okay because we have applied rand range function it can generate any value any value between 0 and 29 here 30 will be excluded okay 30 will be excluded and we can have possible values from 0 to 29 so for the first time we are getting 1 it doesn't mean second time also we are getting 1 okay uh, second time uh, the result may be 27 or 6 or 3 in any we cannot predict it that is what the use of random uh, rand ranges or random modules the functions available random function is okay modules okay and we have uh, one more example here import random you know uh, we have to import the uh, module run first okay here it is random so we adding the statement import random first then we have a list uh, subject equal to cs ip physics and maths then 
rand index equal to random dot rand range 2. We have uh, the value 2. We have the argument 2. So, uh, rand range 2. Which are the possible values? 0 and 1. We know 2 will be excluded. Right? 2 will be excluded. It's the same way here 30 was excluded. So, upper limit will not be considered. And the possible values are from 0 to n minus 1. Here the value of n is 30. So, the possible values are 0 to 29. Here for the second example, it is the upper limit is 2. So, it is from 0 to n minus 1. 0 to 1. That is 0 and 1 are the only possible values. Okay? So, uh, here rank index can have values either 0 or 1. Either 0 or 1. Then print subjects of rand index. Uh, suppose <coughs> CS is printed first. We can have uh, the result as CS. It is possible because uh, zero or uh, CS is a 0. 0th index. So uh, the execution is like this. Uh, random dot rand range of 2. Here actually uh, we know rand range function returns an integer value. It generates an integer value. Here uh, the possible values are either 0 or 1. So for example suppose 0 is assigned to rand index. Then uh, subjects of rand index. We know subjects is a list. Uh, subjects of 0. Here subjects of 0 is CS. CS will be printed for the second time. For the next execution it may be IP. It may be IP because it is also possible. Here uh, suppose 1 is assigned to rand index. Then subjects of 1. Subjects of 1 is 0, 1. That is IP. For the second time, IP may be printed. So, this is how RAND index works. Uh, here in this example and uh, the function RAND range. So, uh, here is our first function RAND range. Uh, it returns an integer value between lower argument and upper argument. Or lower limit and upper limit. Upper limit will be excluded. It will be 0 to n minus 1. It will be from 0 to n minus 1. Then by default it is 0 and 1. The lower limit is 0 and upper limit is 1. And uh, here uh, we have to import ra what random module first. Then only you can apply rand range because rand range is a function available in random module. After that you can assign the value here 1 will be printed. It will be 0 to 29. And uh, for the second case we have a list of uh, subjects here. And uh, rand range function is applied with the parameter 2, argument 2. So the possible values are 0 and 1. So here in this list, uh, only CS and IP can be printed because uh, physics and maths will not be printed because physics is at second index and maths is at third index. Here we have the parameter is 2, the argument is 2. So only 0 and 1 is possible. Okay. So here uh, for the first time it can be CS, for the second time it may be. It's not sure. Okay. It may be IP. So this is how a rand range function works. Our next function is random. And it is the function used to generate random number between 0 and 1. And we know uh, it's, it's a, a function that generates random number from 0 and 1. Between 0 and 1. Of course it will be a floating point value like 0 0.53 somewhat, something. Okay. So uh, it returns a floating point value. Or it, it's used to generate floating point value and does not take any parameters. Random function does not take any parameters which include 0 but exclude 1. We know uh, it uh, output uh, value between 0 and 1 and the value is of course a floating point value. It considers 0. It takes 0 uh, but exclude 1. And we have some examples here. From random import random. What is it actually? We know we have uh, two ways to import modules to our program. One is using import. That is the most commonly used method and uh, we have been following that method so far. But here we have used the second method. From from random because uh, the meaning of the statement is from the module random we are importing random function from module random we are importing random function okay uh, random we are simply applying random because random function does not take any parameters or arguments so it prints a value like this 0 0.31530 some sort of value okay uh, it generates a value between 0 and 1 of course a floating point value then we have one more example. Here we can see the second method of importing what M module import random. Sim this, this is a simple method. Then run ran number equal to random dot random. Random is a module name dot. We are calling the function. We are invoking the function random. 
So uh, a value will be assigned to RAN number. Then we are printing it out. Uh, it prints uh, somewhat a value like this. So uh, each time it prints a different value. That is what a random is. That is what random is. Okay. Then random number equal to random dot random uh, into 5 plus 10. What will be the result of this statement? Random number equal to random dot random into 5 plus 10. What will be the minimum value? Minimum value to random number. Which will be 10. For example, here we can have 0, right? 0 into 5. Some other value, what? 0. Then plus 5 plus 10. It will be 10. Then uh, maximum value 1. 1 into that is 15. Because means it will be in the range 10 to 15. Okay? It will be in the range 10 to 15. So meaning 10 to 14. Right? Okay. That is the last will be excluded. Okay? Uh, in the case what? 0 will be included and 1 will be excluded. Okay? This is how a random function works. So random function uh, is a function that generates a random value between 0 and 1. It uh, returns, it generates a what, floating point value, does not take any arguments, then uh, which include 0 but exclude 1. We will not have a value with 1. And we have seen uh, two examples. One is using uh, the import statement. Uh, from statement from import random import random then second method the most commonly used method import random and the last one uh, random dot random into 5 plus 10 we have values uh, 0 uh, what uh, 10 to 15 right uh, to be assigned to random number so this is all about random function next we have rand int rand int okay so here takes two parameters a and b when it takes two parameters it means we have explicit, right? It's going explicit. Uh, A will be the lower bound and B will be the upper bound. Or A will be the lower limit and B will be the upper limit. Okay? Returns a number that is N. Inclusive. That is A less than or equal to N less than or equal to B. And which can be uh, treated as like uh, ran int of start plus start comma stop plus one. Okay? Start comma stop plus one. Let's see. Uh, which generates a random integer. Random means uh, just by expanding we get what? A random integer, right? Then example, uh, example applications, uh, guessing number application, guessing number application. Okay? Then we have an example here, random dot random a comma b. You know, it is a less than or equal to n, less than or equal to b. Okay? Then import random, we have an example here, import random, print random dot random of 0 comma 9. Here the value of a is 0 and b is 9. Okay. So what will be the result? Here it prints. Uh, for example, for the first time uh, we executing, uh, it, it may print uh, 1. For the second time it may print another value, 5. Okay. So here which are the possible values? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Up to 9. 9 will also be there. Okay. So 1 to 9. 1 to 9 values may be possible or are possible here in uh, random function okay so this is all about a random function random int random int generator function which takes two parameters uh, a and b a is the lower limit b is the upper limit and it is a less than or equal to n less than or equal to b right n should be yeah less than or equal to a should be b should be less than or equal to n okay then uh, generates a random integer uh, example uh, application guessing random numbers okay random number application we have uh, an example here uh, implementation here random dot random 0 comma 9 and the possible values are uh, 1 to 9 and i've told you it is uh, it may be in effect it is like random start comma stop plus 1 okay here in our previous examples we have seen what it will exclude the last right so it won't exclude the last 9 will be will also be considered as, as in the set of possible values okay so that's all about a random function our next function is uniform it returns a random floating point value between two numbers and it follows this syntax random dot uniform x comma y and the value should be greater than or equal to x and less than y you have to notice it must be greater than or equal to x and less than y okay and we have an example here import random print random dot uniform we have two values 1 comma 100 
and here the value of uh, x is 1 and y is 100. So it prints or it returns a random value, a random floating point value in the range. Okay. So here it prints a value like uh, 85.4767 somewhat. Okay. So this is what uniform is. Uniform returns a random floating point value between two numbers and it follows uh, random dot uniform x comma y and it must be it should be greater than or equal to x and less than y okay so here the value of x is 1 and y is 100 this is how uniform works giving random floating point value between two limits and our next function is choice and it is a function that returns a random value from a sequence like list tuple or a string it gives a it returns a random selection or it, it performs a random selection from a list tuple or a string and it follows this syntax random dot choice sequence we are passing a sequence to the function choice okay we have an example here first we are importing random module import random then a direction choice we have a variable direction choice equal to random dot choice and in the function choice we are passing uh, 1 east 2 we have a list okay 2 west 3 north and 4 south so we know it's a it's a tuple right okay so then we are printing it out print direction choice sometimes it prints what 4 colon south so we know we are performing a random operations right so from this it prints uh, 4 south for the second, for the next uh, execution, it may print some other result like 3 north may be printed. So we can't predict it. That is what non deterministic approach is, right? Okay. So choice is a function uh, that performs or uh, performs random selection from a list, tuple, or a string. Here we have performed, uh, we have passed, we are passing a sequence, right? Random dot choice sequence. Sequence means it can be a list, it can be a tuple, or it can be a string. Okay, here we are passing this. So it prints for south. For the second execution, it may be some other result. Okay, for the third, it may be some other result. Okay, we can't predict it anyway. So that is what choice is. And our last function is shuffle. Shuffle. Shuffle means it shuffles or swaps. Okay, uh, shuffle or swap a list, array, or a tuple. Actually, shuffle function performs swap or shuffle operation uh, in a list or array or a tuple okay and we applying it just what passing a list shuffle list then it returns the reshuffled list it returns the reshuffled list okay here we get an example uh, we importing the random module first import random fruits equal to apple orange banana pineapple apricot okay it's a list okay then random dot shuffle we are passing fruits random dot shuffle we are passing the list and we are printing it out so it may be the result may be what pineapple apricot orange apple banana pineapple apricot orange apple banana for the next time it may be some other result okay we can't predict it anyway so this is what shuffle is shuffle is a, is a function uh, available in uh, random module used to perform shuffle or swap in a list array or a tuple and it returns the reshuffled list okay so here is an example for us which performs uh, shuffle operation shuffle function so these are the functions available in random module we know random is an important module in python or in any programming language random function is important because as it what gives us or, or as it returns random value okay so here we have seen a number of functions and let's have a quick revision okay what is random uh, we have a module in python called random uh, it follows non deterministic approach okay uh, in the previous programs we have seen what uh, deterministic approach the output uh, uh, what we getting is uh, to be non or we have an idea about what should be the output but here in non deterministic approach uh, or uh, programs using uh, what random random module or random functions we cannot predict the output okay that is the difference so we have to import a random module first and it prints a random number extensively to the program okay to the user so 
first we have seen a uh, random uh, what rand range right rand range uh, prints a random value or returns a random value or generates a random value between two limits uh, two arguments uh, lower argument and upper argument and by default the value of lower argument is 0 and upper argument is 1 second function is random which gives a random floating point value between two range uh, 0 and 1 it performs it uniformly meaning uh, uh, it perf what uniformly distribute the value between 0 and 1 and we are not passing any any value the random function doesn't take any value okay and we have seen one example uh, uh, some of uh, the examples and in one we have seen what uh, random into 5 plus 10 right so there may be possibility possibilities of values uh, in the range 10 to 15 we can have any floating point value uh, in the range 10 to 15 right okay and the third one is rand int rand in it gives what random integer value right uh, rand in a comma b there will be two limits a less than or equal to n less than or equal to b and at the time we have seen uh, uh, what uh, rand in start comma stop plus one meaning uh, when it is uh, random 0 comma 5 which are the possible values 1 2 3 4 5 5 will also be considered okay then we have seen uniform which gives uniform what for floating point value in, uh, between two limits okay then uh, random dot uniform x comma y it must be greater than or equal to x and less than or less than y not less than or equal to y less than y then we have uh, seen example 1 comma 100 okay then choice which gives uh, what selection operation which performs selection operation from a list tuple or a string right so we are just passing the sequence to the choice function and we have seen an example here then finally we have shuffle shuffle is used to shuffle or swap a list array or a tuple okay then we are just passing the list to the function shuffle and it returns the reshuffled list okay and we have seen one example for all these functions we have to import the uh, module random to the program so this is all about random module and random functions and we know it is a very important topic in python so you just go through it uh, you just perform all these operations in your machine and uh, have a thorough knowledge okay uh, just be going uh, what uh, deep into the topic so uh, thank you thank you for watching have a nice time see you in the next video